What is going on everyone? I'm Nux Pro and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov video. This video is for the new weapon that just came out with the 12.10 patch, the STM9 submachine gun. In this video, I'm gonna give you the best build for the STM9 with high ergonomics and low recoil in mind. And I'm gonna give you a little review with my thoughts of the gun and where I think it stands currently in Escape from Tarkov. And that will be accompanied by a bunch of clips I got using this gun. So let's talk about the STM mother. The STM nine is available from skier level two. And this is what you get right out of the box. It's 44,000 rubles and right out of the gate it gives you 70 ergonomics which is great and a very low recoil of 34 it uses 9 by 19 ammo so your round to use for the vector the mp5 etc etc now like i said before right out of the box this thing is pretty solid all you have to do is throw some type of sight on it and you're pretty much good to go i tested this all day yesterday just the stock build and as you can see from the clips on the screen it did pretty well where it obviously struggles and the few times i did die is the fact that it's semi-automatic you start to realize why it won't beat most meta guns i see a lot of these other uh weapon reviews of this gun and people are just in the hideout just you know shooting at the target and obviously the weapon is incredibly accurate but how many times do you find players just standing still during a fight it happens but if you face any player that's competent they're going to be moving around and the the semi-automatic nature of the weapon can make it difficult to beat somebody with a, a fully automatic weapon but if you're a wild man you can make this gun pretty ridiculous there are so many different ways you can set this gun up and the lowest recoil i could get it is 24. there might be a way to get it lower because there are so many different combinations it is quite possible i missed something this build looks really sick but it is going to cost you 259,000 rubles compared to this which is only 44,000 rubles and you only get a reduction in recoil of 10. Can you notice it? Kind of. It definitely feels cooler. It feels better, but it might not be worth that amount of money. Now that price does not include the site because everybody has their preferences on what type of sights and scopes they want to use. As a note, I played around with this gun with a thermal and some long range scopes. It seems to not be as accurate using those longer range scopes. I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is, but it seems to be way off when uh, shooting with those longer range scopes. So keep that in mind. And as far as magazines, the 33 round big stick is perfect. I never was in a fight where I needed more than that. If you need the 50 round drum, you're probably in a situation where you're gonna die anyway. And the 50 round drum gives you uh, a negative 19 ergonomic. So it would drop that number 63 down dramatically. And it just definitely is not worth it. So is this gun good? It's not bad. It just does not fit in the current meta of Escape from Tarkov. Right now, the meta is fast firing automatic weapons. So your Vector, your MP7, your HK, your M4s. This gun, you can fire it fast and you can fire it accurately, but when you're facing moving players it shows its weakness because if you're facing anyone who's moving 
you're playing the tap tap game and that split second of the weapon being semi-automatic makes a huge difference because you're not getting all your rounds on to the enemy as opposed to using a vector and getting all your rounds at the enemy really quickly and keep in mind i'm using the best nine mil ammo in the game i can't imagine what it'd be like using the weaker ammos i really think it would make this weapon not as viable so to sum it up the stock stm9 is pretty good the way it is all you need to do is throw on a sight you can beef it up for 259,000 rubles get it down to 24 recoil recoil still have good ergonomics i would only use the two best nine mil ammos 7 and 31 and ap63 because if you use anything lower i think bullets are just going to bounce off people unless they're just standing still which happens sometimes but most of the time it doesn't and these are really expensive rounds seven and 31 are going for like 3000 around if you can't get it off a trader and if you're going to spend three thousand dollars on a round you probably have enough money to use something better than the stm 9 but it's fun it's new it's refreshing i love the game so i like to try out anything battle state puts in the game i hope this video was informative and if you could please leave a like it really helps with getting my videos noticed and a nice comment helps as well i will see you in the next one